Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today, I'm bringing you a preview of Alice in Wordland, specifically the Deluxe Edition. Now, I know, not the type of game we normally cover here on Quackalope. It is an accessible party game built around the idea of carrying on a conversation when there's restrictions in place, specifically words and topics that you have to work your way around. So, why are we covering Alice in Wordland? Well, because if you're looking for an accessible grab-and-go party game that does twist kind of the genre of word puzzle games on its head, this is going to be an interesting approach to one that you might want to bring home and bring to your table. And Draw Lab Entertainment is releasing a deluxe version of this game, so there'll be a link down below for you to swing over to the Kickstarter page, take a look at the project, and see if it is right for you. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how you play, what is unique and interesting about the game, and, of course, the different powers and abilities you're going to get. So, if you're familiar with Alice in Wonderland, you'll be familiar with the famous Mad Hatter Tea Party. And that's going to be the setting for the game that we're playing here. The object of the game is to carry on a conversation built around the idea of restrictions, because the Red Queen is hosting this party, and she has certain particular things she'd like you to talk about, and certain particular things that, well, if you use the wrong letter, it'll be off with your head. Every player is going to be able to take one of these special powers and different character cards, and throughout the course of the game, you'll be able to use every single character card in play, because the powers and abilities will switch hands as you go, as if you're switching seats around the tea party. Now, at the start of the game, you're going to be revealing something that you need to talk about. For instance, here is the keyword dessert. Then you're going to be flipping the various different restriction cards we have here. We have a Z, an L, and a P. That means that during the conversation around dessert, I have to come up with a topic or something to say that does not include the letters L, Z, or P. So lemon pie wouldn't work, pistachio ice cream certainly wouldn't, but macadamia nuts? Possibly? No, possibly certainly isn't there. I could talk about licorice? No, that would knock me out of the game as well. Jelly bellies. That's what we're going to go with. Now, that's the core framework of the game. You're going to be going around everyone hitting this timer here that'll play music as you play. I don't know if the music's copyrighted or not, so I don't have batteries in the timer for it to uh, test and see if YouTube's going to demonetize me or not. Uh, but you'll hit the timer. It'll either be a 15 or, or 10 second timer. You'll start it at the start of your turn. You'll come up with a word like ice cream. Yeah, that works. Pass it to the next player. They'll hit the timer to start it for themselves. If you use a word that doesn't match the topic, that utilizes or is spelled with one of the letters that are forbidden, or you just run out of time, you get knocked out of the game. And the rounds will continue until it comes down to two or three people going back and forth, coming up with new phrases, new words, new things to discuss around one random and interesting main point. Now, that's going to bring us to the different powers and abilities we have. You see, in the deluxe version of this game, we're going to get four brand new characters introduced, but the core game is built around the idea of utilizing every single one of these powers and abilities, and they will change up the way that you get to interact with every round and every word. Alice here is going to get a tea time token. She's going to score half of her victory points for whatever she just scored. So if she got three, she'll score one additional point. Always round it down. The Tweedle Twins are going to get timer tokens. That is going to give them control over this stop clock here. They can reset it if they just can't come up with a word soon enough. Matt Hatter is going to be able to disregard one of the letters up there and gets a timer token of himself. The Two of Hearts ignores the Red Queen's ability and also can force another player to go two times in a row. The Caterpillar is going to be able to score half of whatever another player scores. I don't believe it's half. I believe they're going to be able to score whatever another player scores. Queen of Hearts is going to get to draw one of these forbidden red cards and place it down on her turn, making everyone else have to also avoid using the letter O. The White Rabbit gets to draw a second purple card, and he gets to discard the Queen of Hearts card if he plays it after her, and she gets to discard his if she plays his hers after him. And the Cheshire Cat can just turn invisible, skip an entire turn. Now, we have brand new characters as well in the deluxe copy. 
We have the King of Hearts that's going to draw two letters, and he's going to replace letters with those letters throughout the course of the game. We have the Duchess. She's going to draw two decision topics face down. You can place the round's decision topic or discussion topic during the course of the game as well. So change it from desserts over to hot and cold things. We have the March Hare. Give your turn to another player. So if you just don't want to go, why don't you go for me? And then turn's going to continue right around the clock. And we have the Jabberwocky. Draw three characters, choose one, because in every game there's going to be some characters that aren't utilized. The Jabberwocky gets to randomize and decide which character he wants to be for this round. The deluxe copy of this game is going to introduce brand new player markers, round markers, and scoring tracks. You don't actually need these extra scoring tokens that I have out. Brand new discussion topics, new characters to interact with, and brand new events. Things like... Queen of Heart reveals both discussion topics. Players can use either discussion topic. A player can get an additional point if they provide a clue for each topic. Max one. Or, draw two discussion topics. Players can use either topic. If a player gives two different clues, they get an additional max point. Draw an additional green forbidden letter. If a player gives a clue which includes the new letter, they get an additional point. So on and so forth. This is a helter-skelter, lightweight, but highly accessible party game with moderates, uh, moderate abilities that allow you to change the deck depending on if you want a harder experience or an easier experience. The uh, three and up cards are going to be determined for more conversational things, a little bit more open-ended, easier to have both age ranges, high and low, sit down and play. But what this game results in when you're actually sitting down and play it is... A Helter Skelter tea party where you're doing your very best to discuss all types of wacky things and every now and then getting pointed at and called out for using a P in a word that you, you shouldn't have or for saying something off kilter that doesn't quite meet what you were talking about. Hot and cold, the snow would certainly work. Pop tart would be stretching it and the P would disqualify me. If I was going to say lava, because I think that's the perfect word to fit here, that L is going to kick me out. It becomes a pressure system, right? 10 or 15 seconds to belt out as much information as you can. And I think it fits the theme very well. Is it the perfect game for us here at Quackalo? I would say it's in between. It is fun and accessible while still being a party game, which isn't always the genre of game we sit down and play. But I am excited to show this to friends and family over the holidays when getting heavier games off the shelf and onto the table is a little bit more difficult. And the deluxe version opens up more possibilities, more fun characters to play, more words and discussion topics to dive into, and things like the scoring tracker and the event deck for you to explore. And with that, I think that's a preview video. It's not an overly complicated game, but it is a lot of fun. Now let's go ahead and establish a little bit of flavor text and leave you with that. Alice in Wordland. The Queen of Hearts, rule, ruler of Wonderland, has invited you to a tea party at the Palace Gardens. Unfortunately, the Queen tends to make up strange laws. Today, for example, she's outlawed certain letters of the alphabet. Anyone who says a word that contains them will be sent home. Will you be the last guest standing? So, I guess the question is, will you in fact be the last guest standing here at Alice in Wordland? Whatever the case, though, whatever you do, remember to get out and play some games. Whether they're light, heavy, the important thing is that you're having fun and joining friends and family around the table. We'll see you next time. Thank you.